smash that thing. This is a good way of a, a truck being mounted on that taper. The only trouble is, accessories are a fortune to buy and I've machined the tapers before and they're difficult to make. But it is a solid secure mountain. There's no way the truck can... Some trucks are screwed on and I suppose it is possible for the truck to unscrew if you run the way backwards. There's no chance of that going to go anywhere. I've been asked to make four three-eighth Whitworth nuts out of that size bar. So we've got the big old-fashioned heads on them. I've got a three-eighth Whitworth tap here, Doma tap. Interesting thing about it, if you'll focus, will you focus? Don't want to focus. That's it there. It's got 3 eighths width worth and it's got a drill size of 7.9mm. There you go, a 3 eighths width drill. 7.9mm. I've got a 7.9mm drill that happens, so we'll set about making these. Now I have got the heater running in the background, and as I said, I've set the mic level up manually. There's a, a guy he emailed us, he was actually a sound engineer, and he explained what was happening. What having the microphone set on auto, what it was doing, and I stopped talking, or the lathe stopped working, it would pick up or zoom in on the sound that was available, which was the heater, and that was the noise in the background. People thought we nearly had a fault on this, uh, that's what it's been. Okay, so we'll send a drill this. Put the 7.9mm drill through it, put some threads in, then we'll port them off and shampoo them as we need them. You want them to be half an inch thick, so they're going to be big chunky nuts, obviously for a specific job. Or collar chuck in the tail stock all the time now for tapping. It gets a much better grip at the top than an ordinary real chuck. It's more like collars. Brass is an only machine driver, a little bit of the black 
stick your stuff we'll do on your home. The power top is on a nice slow feed. the layers and just wind it back out. Now let's put a nice sharp thread in there. This is going to be the top of the nut, that's the bit where it goes onto the job. So I'm going to put a nice sort of chamfer on there. 45 degree tool on a 30 degree tool rather <coughs> idiot looks right. I want this parting off and you want some half an inch long. I need to make sure that the tool is square to the job. I know it's on centre height so we'll simply put a square on there and a square on the tool and that's it. Exactly square to the job. We'll line it up with the end of the bar. Like that. Use the DR roll. Just wind it in half an inch. Right, that's half an inch. Push the fannies here. left a little rag on the end, it will be a fairly simple case of putting this back in the chuck just to face that off, I have left enough material that's one done, four more to do and then see the thread in there is nice and sharp it's a real good quality top and these nuts are bigger than a I suppose 3 8 is the same as 10 mil now if you look at a 10 mil nut in comparison, that not in this nice proportion, I do think it's a work worth nut. But there's four of these, and they're going to be visible on a, on a traction engine, so we're going to get polished. And hopefully they'll last as long as the last ones did. So 100 years time, they'll still be on the end. A little bit of me is still here, I suppose.
these are the remains of an underground horse gin. There had been a big vertical column with these gears fastened to it and there was a horse or two horses yoked onto it. They would walk round and round and that would drive power which would operate a winch. What you can see here is the remains of a massive underground water wheel. I've never seen a water wheel as big as this underground before. It must be 25 to 30 foot in diameter. See the big drum there where the cable goes on to. Really is an interesting place. This water wheel was possibly used to drive the pump in the flooded shaft to keep the lower levels of the main free of water. Follow me, are you ready? Okay. Start with the hook drum, okay. right to the drum, across, onto the pillar. The big beam. Follow the big beam now. So it was two beams. Yeah. A beam on either side there. Eh? That one's come off the. That's what it is, I don't know if Once again, I'd like to thank everybody that's donated a little bit of money towards my YouTube channel to help us buy basically some better camera gear and obviously tools for the shop just to keep things running along. It all helps, really is much appreciated. This is a, a special time of year, it's uh, where I come from, it's, it's Christmas. I don't care what religion you are, what you believe in, spacemen, God, I just don't care. Christmas is a time to be enjoyed, uh, it's all about friends and family, about being nice to people, it's not just buying people presents, it's going to see people. If you haven't seen one of your friends or your family for a long time, make a point of going to see them, because one day, man, you'll go and it will be there. Anyway, I suppose now it's just to say, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, thanks for all the well wishes. And I wish you all a very Merry Christmas.